Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is Miss Albright, and today I'm going to be reading for you Hedgehog Needs a Hug. Hedgehog Needs a Hug was written by Jen Benton and illustrated by Jacqueline Reyes. Published in 2018, this book is about a hedgehog finding a friend to give him a hug. I chose Hedgehog Needs a Hug for its great storyline and amazing imagery. I found that each illustration depicted what was happening on the page and brought each sentence to life. I thought that you could really sense what Hedgehog was feeling page by page. I enjoy this storyline because even though it is hard for Hedgehog to find the one, in the end, he eventually finds who he needs to hug. When Hedgehog awoke in his cozy nest, he felt down in the snout and droopy in the prickles. I'll feel better if I get a hug, he thought. Okay, time for our first vocab word, prickles. First vocab word comes from when Hedgehog tries to describe how he is feeling. He says that he feels droopy in the prickles. The word prickles means to be a sharp and pointy object. Hedgehog says prickles because hedgehogs have sharp and pointy thorn-like things on their back. Unlike animals, plants can also have prickles. If you think of the plant rose, roses have thorns on them, so you would call those thorns a prickle. Hedgehog poked his nose into the sunshine and toddled toward Rabbit's grassy den. Rabbit, I need a hug. Will you give me one? He asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Rabbit slowly backed away. Um, I have the sniffles. <laughs> I'm afraid I will give you a cold if I hug you, she said. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Rabbit slowly backed away. The sniffles. <sniffs> I'm afraid I will give you a cold if I hug you, she said. And hippity skippity scram, she was gone. Uh, chew! Echoed out of the den. Poor rabbit, thought Hedgehog. Hedgehog wandered across the clearing to the hollow log where Raccoon slept. Raccoon, I need a hug. Will you give me one? he asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Raccoon ducked back into the shadows. Uh, I'm afraid I have the most frightful garbage breath. You don't want to come near me, he exclaimed. And he scuffle scoot scampered into the dark of his log. I don't mind garbage breath, called Hedgehog, but Raccoon was gone. Hedgehog trudged over to Turtle's sun-soaked resting spot. Turtle? <coughs> Never mind. Hedgehog sighed and he shuffled away. Hedgehog didn't see anyone else to ask. Was there no one who would hug him? I'm so sorry no one will give you a hug, drawled Fox. Sly slide slinking over. I'm not afraid of your spines, little hedgehog. Okay, time for the second vocab word. The second vocab word is spines. And while we do have spines in our body, this is not the kind of spine that we are talking about. Like a prickle, a spine is the sharp and pointy part of the hedgehog. So when we see spines in the story is when the fox is trying to scare the hedgehog and says that he is not afraid of the little hedgehog spines. What he is doing to the hedgehog is trying to intimidate him so he seems more aggressive and that he will win. I'll even give you a big kiss. Hedgehog scurried into the bracken. He shuddered, 
thinking of Fox's sharp teeth. He was very tired of asking for hugs. Maybe he should just go home. The next vocab word is bracken. We see bracken after the fight between Fox and Hedgehog. It's when Hedgehog run, runs into the bracken to hide from Fox. Bracken is a large fern. A fern is a big green plant. So if you were to walk outside and look at a bush, it would somewhat look like a bush. It's just a large green plant. Something that Hedgehog could hide under to hide from Fox. Then Hedgehog heard soft sobs coming from the clearing beyond his bush. What's the matter, Skunk? Hedgehog asked, keeping his distance. No one will give me a hug, and I feel so blue, Skunk said. Hedgehog took a deep breath and tip patter patted close to Skunk. I feel blue too, Skunk. I will give you a hug. Skunk looked at Hedgehog's prickles. Then she slowly opened her arms. Very gently, Hedgehog gave her a hug. And they both felt better. You guys should read Hedgehog Needs a Hug because it teaches you about keeping up your head and never looking down. Even though sometimes it can get challenging to find what you need, you will always find it in the end. It may not be from who you thought it would come from or how, but in the end, you will get your answer.